Welcome everybody to another Sims video. My name is Kiwi. I'm gonna show you around Hannibal Lecter's home as well more or less seen on the show Hannibal NBC's Hannibal. I built this over the last couple of days and it took me way too long. In the footage I recorded already sped up by 900% is about 45 minutes long. Um, so I thought instead of trying to edit that into something that makes sense, I'd rather give you a, a house tour. The last season of Hannibal aired in 2013, so it's been quite a while. I used to watch this show uh, when I started university, when I was in my early 20s. It's been, it's been 10 years, so... Um... <coughs> yeah, but I really enjoyed it, this show for many reasons. Uh, for one, I kind of liked dark and gory themed stuff back then and um, the aesthetic was very pleasing. I don't know how they how they did it, but they managed to um, make gory and really disgusting stuff look very beautiful and artsy at the same time in combination with a really with a really thrilling story and with uh, really good acting kind of made a very successful show. And I'm so sad that they uh, cancelled it after three seasons. Basically, Hannibal eats people. <laughs> that's it. That's all you have to know. Hannibal eats people. Um, I don't think that's a secret. I don't think. Um, I yeah. It might be. It might be like a spoiler if you're really uh, a young zoomer who really hasn't heard anything about Hannibal the Cannibal, Hannibal Lecter at all. Everything is people. Just, just, just remember that that everything is people. Let's just start um, by going into the front door. So we are heading in, <laughs> and you are greeted by marble floors. Park. I will make sure to put in some reference photos of the things we are seeing. Now, what made this build very, very difficult? is that it's a mixture of film sets, location shots, and well, that there's no coherent existing floor plan of this house altogether. You know, unlike with Breaking Bad, where it's very obvious how how the house is structured because it's a very simple house you just kind of know how everything is connected how every room is connected and in this house it sometimes it just doesn't make sense and so i had to combine you know trying to stay close to the original sets or location uh, or locations um, and then kind of making my own interpretation and going a bit freestyle in order to combine the rooms with one another. So that was why this whole build took so fucking long. And you will notice from uh, the original photo, this arcway doesn't exist here and this door doesn't exist where it is right here. So I think we will look at the um, most interesting parts of the house first. Also this door isn't there, which is the dining room and the kitchen which is located right here because this is where he'll serve his friends and enemies to other people <laughs> in the words of of the, the the guy himself it's nice having friends over for dinner with hannibal the whole aesthetic is that everything has its place everything has a purpose everything is placed with determination you know, nothing is lying around that's not supposed to be there. He wants to be under control and that he wants to remain having control. I think that's why everything is looks like a piece of art, essentially. Because Hannibal, he's a very snobby person and he'd probably um, cut me up for that, for saying that, because he eats the rude. So if you ever, you know, if he comes upon somebody who is rude to him, well, the next scene is him making sausages and you... It, it's not said, but you know, everything is people. Never forget. The um, dining room is, is directly connected to the kitchen. And that the kitchen also doesn't have any other um, door to walk into. This is the lovely kitchen. You will find many 
possibilities to cut up something, to prepare something. He does everything himself. Like the cooking scenes are just very, very pleasing and very impressive at the same time. So with this wall of cabinets, it's actually in the original just a wall in which the fridge and all the appliances are integrated like he would have lots of uh, like m multiple ovens that's a bit difficult to recreate in the sims so i just went with something like this but i think if you're a fan of the show you would you know you would recognize what this is supposed to be and i'm also very pleased with these with the floor tiles because this is very very close to the original and they are from um jungle adventure so that's kind of pog. Now this door leads to the pantry. Um, I started off building this and trying to put down a staircase because in the first season this is not a pantry. In the first season this is this leads up to a to a staircase. And, and coming upon things that have changed during the seasons, that shit kind of annoys me because it's continuity. You know, continuity things that I notice and and ugh, it stresses me out. <laughs> it stresses me out when I try to recreate something. When you come in, there's more room to uh, prepare people. Oh, also, um, I think they changed something with the move objects on cheat. Yeah, Sims kind of just randomly deletes my objects. And this is what happened here. There was supposed to be a second fridge. Um, yeah, so he's a connoisseur of wine. And actually, I think in the original set, the whole, the, like all the walls in the pantry were supposed to hold wine bottles. So very, 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 very interesting. I don't know, Hannibal is like, it's not, it's not, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. It's, it's, it's a lot to take in, like the gory scenes and the killings and, you know, the whole story is very gruesome. So I can't say I recommend it to you because I know some people just don't like this kind of stuff and and um, I don't think I would necessarily watch it the way I am now but I could definitely watch it when I was in my 20s because that shit didn't bother me at all but nowadays I'm too sensitive <laughs> for that so I don't want to see you know people getting sliced up and stuff. I still like Hannibal. I have like, it sounds weird, but I have fond memories of this show because uh, I, I really liked it a lot. And as I said, like the story is really intriguing. You just want to know what happens. Um, will he end up in a sausage or will he not? You know, that kind of thing. So I would like to check out the living room. And it was very difficult to, like I said, to fit this into the house. What the hell? What happened here? What the fuck? That's not supposed to be there. Well, this is supposed to be on the wall. What the hell? I don't know. I think this house might be haunted. Because last time I was here, that was standing on the wall. At the wall. Jesus. So instead of trying to um, make this, you know, 100% like the set, um, for which I would have to, let me show you, I would have to expand this room a lot, but then it wouldn't fit in with the with the exterior of the house. You know what I mean? That that that's the problem. It's it's but anyway, I try to recreate the mood, I try to move around the furniture a bit. So we still got the furniture that is in the original, but uh, moved around a bit. And of course I had to fill in the other side and now this is a freestyle room uh, which I personally like better than the living room. This is just the library and as you can see there's another bookcase missing. Uh, when objects are too close I feel like with the new update they just get deleted. Even though you might save it um, the way that they're supposed to be, EA just goes ahead and, and, and like the game, not EA. <laughs> We can't blame EA for everything. Like the game just um, deletes stuff. And I'm very sorry if you've down downloaded this and you and you notice something's missing. I think I wrote it in the description that this might happen. I tried to mirror the rooms a bit, you know, have like a desk here and the couch in front of that. Always try to make it symmetrical because that's a thing 
that keeps reappearing like you have two plants on the on the sides you have two lamps uh, on the sides and um, armchairs positioned like this so this also uh, kind of just shows how you know how he wants things to be in order and nothing is supposed to be just tossed to the side like everything has a purpose everything is intentional so um, I try to recreate that kind of look and also very proud of my floor tiles again look at that so pretty if we go here this is where we'll find the staircase oof okay the game deleted a lot of stuff here it's okay it still looks fine but less intentional because it wasn't my intention oh look we don't have a reflection so we came up the stairs and we find ourselves uh you know in another hallway let's zoom out a bit i have to sneeze hold on <gasps> Never mind. Um, yeah, that thing happens. It just glitches through, which is really unfortunate, but uh, nothing I can do about it. So this is just um, storage, whatever, or to keep somebody, you know, hostage. This is just a little chill area for playing chess. And we have a little balcony that looks out onto the scenery. And why is this glitching out? I don't know, but it is. Wow, what a stable game we have, huh? And then we have this hallway voice crack. I don't know where that came from. I can yodel apparently. And this is uh, Hannibal's bedroom that is also shown in the show. <laughs> it's shown in the show. And it looks a bit like this. And um, that view is actually kind of nice. So yeah, what's unfortunate with The Sims is that the color swatches really don't match well with each other. So we have multiple shades of gold. We have multiple shades of white and gray and it, sometimes it just doesn't add up like um, for example with the bed you can see that it's a lighter brown but I really liked the blue bedspread because that fit well and the ottoman is a dark wood but the teal colored cushion just you know it, that that's the color we need but it kind of it, it, it reflects you know his style and i think it, it still looks like his bedroom i think people would be able to recognize that and then we go out again and then following the hallway um and just quickly having a peek in here this is just like a washing room because things need to be washed um, you know, the grease stains from the neighbor you ate, they have to be washed out of your clothes, I guess. So this is totally freestyled. Upstairs, is, it's just a bedroom that's not freestyled, um, that's recreated. But um, we have a guest room up here with nice colors. I really like this guest room. I really like it. And then we just have a small bathroom here. We will find another guest room, this time a bit, bit darker. I really like this look as well. Oops, something's sticking out. It's the mirror. Yeah, lol. Uh, a much, a much, 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 a much smaller bathroom. To the last room in the middle. It's just his dojo. Because <laughs> Hannibal has a weakness for Japanese um, things. I think it's more explained in Hannibal Rising why. But then again, the movie sucks, so don't watch it. So let's get back into the pantry, shall we? Um, let's just 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 have a look if there's anything we've 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 missed. There might be something here. Oh, look at that! It's a nice bookcase, isn't it? Hmm, such a nice bookcase. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What is this? Uh oh. Shall we go down? I think we should go down. We went down the stairs and, um, hmm, curious. What is this? Camera? Weird. Okay, let's, let's have a look around. Okay, is this another kitchen? Uh -huh. Huh? That's weird. I wonder what's in those containers. Hmm. More food? I don't get it. Strange, very strange. 
Just another kitchen then, I guess. Okay. Uh, looks very sterile. Uh, ew, what is this? Ew. Okay. Huh. It's a bit, a bit creepy. I mean... Is it not? It's a bit... Very... Ooh. Huh? Okay. What are these for? I think, you know, you could possibly hang up things to dry here, I guess? To, to conserve things? To... Huh. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could definitely hang things up here. I don't... I don't know. Huh. That's weird. What? 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 Huh? Holy shit! Hello, lady, are you okay? Lady, are you okay? Hello? Are you okay? <gasps> oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> oh no, I need to go out. No. <laughs> no, let me out. Let me out. <laughs> oh no, the door is locked. Ah, <laughs> the door is locked. <laughs> We'll never go out again. No. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. So this is. Uh... Mm hmm. Well, yeah. This concludes our tour of the house. So let's watch our sim prepare something to eat. Never forget that everything is people. Even when you're just making eggs on toast, it's also people. <laughs> So if you want to hang out with me more, come to Twitch. I stream on Mondays and on Fridays. You can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on TikTok, kind of, but not really yet. Oh, look at her enjoying her people food. That's very nice. Congrats. I'll see you soon. Stay safe. Have fun. Be nice. Don't eat people. Bye.